What's up everybody? So a brand new trailer dropped yesterday for A24's highly anticipated Maxine. I know a lot of people are really excited about this film. A lot of people have been talking about the trailer. So I'm about to watch that for the first time right now. This will be the third film in the X trilogy, I guess, Ty West's X trilogy. So before I get into that, real quick disclaimer, I liked X, I didn't love it, and I really didn't like Pearl very much at all. So I'm very opposite on um, most people's reactions with those films. They're not my favorite. I like Ty West and I've liked him for years. I just didn't really understand the appeal of Pearl. So going into Maxine, just know that I was not the biggest fan, so I'm not super duper duper excited about Maxine, and I'm probably not going to think it looks that good, but I don't know. I could be wrong. Again, I liked X okay, so I want Ty West to prove me wrong, and I, from what I remember, he said something along the lines of this was going to be more like Giallo inspired or something like that. Maybe I'm making that up, maybe I'm getting movies mixed up. I thought I read or heard something about that, so I don't know where this is going to be. Go. I know it's supposed to have uh, the night soccer in it or something, someone said. So anyway, enough of that. Just know that I may not like this, but let's get into it and see what it looks like. So, Maxine, your agent tells us you're quite a popular name in adult film and entertainment. Is that correct? I'm curious, did you always want to be in that line of work? I always wanted to be famous. If you need to read off the sides we gave you, just go ahead, all right? I know the lines. She turns to the camera and, through her trauma, addresses the lens directly. Name five celebrities who got their start in horror movies. Jamie Lee Curtis, John Travolta, Demi Moore, Brooke Shields, and... Maxine fucking Minx. I don't like walking out here with that freaking Night Stalker guy in the loose. The Night Stalker. See, this is so weird to me. I just don't get, like, just don't, I don't really get this trilogy. There's, she's like a killer. The whole, like, the whole first movie, I don't want to get into reviewing it, but it's like, she's like a killer who kills people who were killers. And then now again, we're like following her in the 80s, and she's a killer trying to make it big. But she's worried about another killer. I just don't really get. I don't know. I, I just feels like another one of those things where they just threw the Night Stalker and they're like, "Hey, let's throw something in there and see if it works." But I don't know. Let's, you know. Stalker is terrorizing Los Angeles. I can handle myself. So said every third girl in Hollywood. Maxine, I'm the private detective. I had to find you. My employer is a very powerful man. Okay. Hey, come on. I know it's Hollywood, but it just seems like just I know it's like this is the Hollywood, but it just seems like they're just throwing a bunch of random stuff. Like, look, look, movies. You recognize this stuff, you know this. Finish with you. It's gonna keep knocking at your door. Tragically, another victim of the night stalker. I knew three people who were murdered in three days. I'd be pretty scared. What are you hiding, Maxine? If I tell you something, we've got confidentiality. What'd you do? This is the defining role of your career. Whatever's going on in your life that's interfering with this picture, squash it. I intend to. Maxine! 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 Maxine. You're a fucking movie star. Are you? Wait, can you make me? So, I mean, first reaction is it definitely looks better to me, and just in terms of theme than Pearl. I didn't really like, again, didn't really like Pearl. It just didn't really make sense to me, like what 
we've been going for, but the trilogy is just so confusing because it's like old school, like Texas Chainsaw, and then it's kind of like wanted to be like artsy, like musical, kind of sound of music type with Pearl, and then for more theater, and then now we're like getting into like 80s stuff. Is that, uh, it doesn't seem like he's trying to be cohesive and creative though. Like it's like the time period trilogy or something. It's like the everything trilogy. You know, you've got, it's just kind of like Mia Goth trilogy, basically. And so it's just, it seems like they're just kind of like, what can we do next? And just like doing that, not like, if they were, if you would have been like, oh yeah, this is going to be like a time period trilogy or something like it felt more planned. I don't know. It just doesn't really, just feels like, oh, they're 80s because it's 80s. So, you know, 80s, look, 80s. I got Kevin Bacon in there who I didn't recognize. But you know, Friday the Thirteenth, um, old school, like we're going like old slasher films. You have a VHS store, of course, and then like the neon lights and the, you know like eighties music, and I know it looks cool in theme, but again, I just don't really get it. Like she's trying to be a star, but then there's just another killer in her way. I just don't really. It just doesn't make sense to me. I don't know. If, if this was a different movie entirely, directed by Ty West. Not part of the extras, not with Mia Goff, Goff in it again, not like following Maxine's character. I'd be way more excited. I just don't like, there just seems like they're just cramming the storyline and trying to make it go somewhere, and I don't really get excited about it. But I know a lot of people are probably really excited about this trailer. I'm going to be the outlier here. I'm also not a huge Mia Goff fan. I know people are big Mia Goff fans, but I'm not a huge fan. Um, so just her being alone in the movie and a bunch of stars and neon and 80s music doesn't do it for me. It's just like Night Star. We know what that is already. We know who Mia Goth is, her character. We know all of this stuff already. Like, are you trying to give us something new? Or are you just trying to make rain? It feels like a, 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 like um, American Horror Story season. You know, it's like, look, all this stuff you know, put into a movie. But now it's in like a TV show, but now it's a movie. So that, I don't know, that's what it feels like to me. Um, again, I know I'm going to be an outlier. I know people are going to disagree with me. That's just my opinion. Uh, otherwise, I think it looks good, like in terms of how it's shot. <coughs> this seems like another one that's going to be a lot of people's favorite. It's going to be the top of the year list for them. And for me, it's going to be another one that I'm just going to be like, I don't really get it. I feel like that's the way it is. But again, you know, I hope it's awesome. I hope people have a ton of fun with it. You know, Ty West kills it. I love to see Ty West back making films again. I like Ty West and I hope people really enjoy it. But I also hope I enjoy it. Um, it just doesn't look that exciting to me. Enough to like really get excited. So that's my opinion. Let me know what you guys think down below and what do you think this story is going to do? Like, what do you think the Night Stalker has to do with it? What are your predictions? I want to hear down below. Let me know what you think they're going to have to do with each other or how are their paths going to cross? Or is it just going to be like randomly thrown in there? Do you agree with me? But it seems like there's a like randomly thrown stuff in there that people know. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Got a money scared on a big bad wolf. I never see the silver line and only see the gold. I don't speak in cash, dog. Everything bold. And I put that on myself because it's a life that I done chose. I said, come through. You can see me on the west side. Now it's funny how they walking with each other.